It's a real shame that Pink Dot can't physically happen this year at Holland Park. But I think the spirit of Pink Dot lives on. I'll switch on all the Pink Dot lights <laughs> that we collecting all these years. We are all lighting up for our friends from the LGBTQ community. We are lighting up for my grandpa. And that's my brother. I am lighting up so that whoever sees my light up will feel less alone. We still love each other wherever you are, even though we are indoor right now. I could be showing someone who's still in the closet, who lives in my neighbourhood, that you are surrounded by allies. You are surrounded by friends. You are surrounded by people who will support you. I am lighting up for non-binary people who are still struggling with the use of their pronouns and names in certain spaces. I am lighting up because I want to show that we exist, I exist, and to show them that I'm a drag queen. There's a drag queen in town, in Haogang, people. For me, I'm lighting up for these beautiful women right here who are my incredible parents. I'm lighting up in support of the three brave heroes who are currently fighting in the courts to repeal 377 It's said to remind us that this fight is ongoing. There's this cause that we all have to chip in somehow. It matters, it matters that we light up, it matters that we stand by each other, especially during these trying times, and I want to do my part to support that. It's not just confined to a single spot. It's everywhere. The community is much closer to both. Just because we are not together in the park doesn't mean that we are not still fighting for the same cause. I want my children to grow up in a society where there is no discrimination or stigmatization. Even though it's really hard right now that you may live with family who don't accept you and you might be hiding, at least on that one night, look out and know that there are others who are with you. If they ask me tomorrow why my window is pink, I say pink is love. <laughs>